Hello. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be getting to do a bouncing ball um, using the movie class. So it's going to be looking a bit like that. And in order to do that, though, there's a quite a bit of housekeeping. Now, what I suggest you do is not the same as me, all right? Because I kind of made a roll for me and back a little bit there. So what you need to do is, and the last one we did, which was just moving the ball randomly using the movie class, just go to the folder, right click, copy, paste a new project, uh, a new folder, and then rename the folder, and then open it up, and then you're ready to go. All right, I'm going to go around about the houses way to do it, but it will. Um, it will work right so this is another way I'll, I'll, I'll put in the description where to forward to if you don't want to see this but this is another way of reusing some of the code that you've got in another project right so the first thing I'm going to do is create a new um, project within that solution okay and I clicked on the wrong thing now so let's try that again it says add new project in fact so C sharp Windows desktop and it's going to be Windows Forms app.net framework Come next right I'm going to call this then so bouncing ball with the mover class and it's going to be for the video so that's going to be the name click create right so what we've got then is here in our new project we've got form one here which we want but what we actually want is stuff from this this project so we want the mover and we want that form so we can just add to it all right without breaking what we've already got now there's two ways of doing it you can actually copy and paste stuff across but I'll show you both ways because you won't always have the project in your solution explorer that you want so we're going to get the mover from um, that one there so we're going to add existing item And we're going to find random ball mover vid. There it is there. And we're going to get the mover. All right. So now you can see the mover's been added to this project here. All right, just close that so it's a bit clearer. Now, one of the first things you're going to do is change the namespace. The namespace is essentially the name of the project. Now that needs to be the same for all of your classes in your project. So it's called BB. BB move of it. Let me just shut the window. Okay, so let's change the actual name of the actual namespace. The other thing you'll notice that the vector two thing is going to is underlined. Now I can't see the reason for that because it says using system numerics there. So if you just click on the um, light bulb there and that should get it done so using system rex that now becomes great i don't know why that happens the move is all good now all right so there we go so we've got mover that's fine now if we run it um this one you should find it just opens up um yeah form one right now what we're going to do is grab the form from random ball mover vid so it's going to get that. So I'm going to copy that this time. I could have done it the other way, but I've had a few problems with that way. So let's paste it in here. Okay, so now we've got this form as well. Now, before I do anything, let's open it and view the code. And again, I'm going to have to change the namespace. All right, so the namespace needs to be BB. And then we just do the like that that should get rid of some of the errors now that initialized component is still not working that's fine that's because if you expand that tree there what we need is to just change the namespace in here as well in the designer code so that's bb invid right we've now got no errors in there and we can go back that error is gone for initialized component as well now the only thing we need to do now is rename this form because you'll notice that it says frm random ball and all that sort of nonsense there even though um, that's kind of not what it's going to be so we're going to close everything down now and then rename it so close all documents and yeah, i'm going to save it then i'm just going to rename this here 
Okay, it's just by clicking on it once. So FRM um, BB M bit. Okay, press enter and you should get this coming up here. Now that's basically going to change all the class names within the form as well. Right, that's good. Right, so if you go to our form now, you should see that you've now got that's been renamed to partial class and, and with the designer as well. It's a faff. Right, one more thing to do is to change program and change that to so we load up the correct, correct form. So it's FRM BBM PID. So this is where it would have been confusing if we hadn't renamed it. I can now get rid of form one, don't need it. So let's delete it. Just extra rubbish. Right, now we're going to need to try and run it and see what it should do. Okay, that's good. So we've now basically got all the code from our previous project into this one. All right, we're now ready to program. Now, what we want it to do is be, become a bouncing ball. So we're going to have to change mover. All right. Now, let me, I can now just hide it. This stuff says so you can see. Now, the bit that's moving it randomly are these two lines here. So we can get rid of those. And if I run that again now, you should see that it should just go in a straight line. There we go. Okay, so that's what we need to change. Now, if you remember on the original bouncing ball, we had an if statement. So basically what we were saying was if um, location X, equals, sorry, is less than zero, or location dot um, x is greater than the form width. Oh, but I hear you ask, we don't know the width. Well, we do kind of because we sent it in here, but we didn't actually, we can't see it because it's in a separate function. So what we're gonna have to do is to declare some fields here so the width and the height so i'm going to declare int form width and form height okay and then i'm going to set those up to be from the constructor so i'm going to say form width equals the width and that is what was what was sent in earlier um, when we created the object and form height equals the height okay so now we can now go oh okay then um, it's greater than the form width now if you remember we had to add some numbers there that uh, will take some away due to the um, I think it's about 140 um, because of the actual size of the actual object. All right. So if it is, then what we're going to do is change the velocity. It's going to be sort of velocity, the velocity dot x is now going to become a, a minus amount or times it. So if it's positive, it becomes negative, or vice versa. So the easy way to do that is just times it by minus one. Right. So there we go. Um, so I've got x, 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 x again, again there. So again, we're going to do the same here. I'm just going to copy that and then change the x's to y's. And there again. But this time it's the form height. Um, that's good. And then we change the y's to here and the Y there. Right, so that should, if I've not made any errors, should convert it into a bouncing ball. Now the velocity is a bit slow there, so it looks like it's a bit, takes ages, right? But we can up the velocity just by changing these values here, so change that to four, three. Okay. Okay, so there we go. Now, a little task for you now is I want it to start in a random location. So pause the video and have a think about how you're going to do that. All right? At the moment it starts it in the center. All right? So the first exercise then 
get it to um, actually do it in the a random location. Right, okay, welcome back. I hope you managed to do that. If you haven't, then here's how we do it. Now we've already got a random. So all we've got to do is say our rand.next. Um, we know, and then we can just put in the width and then get rid of that. Now the reason why we're doing this is because we have lots of balls here. So rnd.next and it's going to be a height. Okay. And as with these things, if you get the brackets, Right, so when I run it now, it should be a bit faster and it will be starting at a random location. It's going a bit slow. It's not looking good. Right, okay. That worries me that the video is not going to work. Now, um, so we've now done, done that now. So that's, we've done mover. Mover is exactly what we want. Now we're going to go back to our form. Um, just to make sure I'm on the right one. There we go. So what we're going to do in here is I want lots of them. All right. So how am I going to get it to do that? Well, what I need then is a list of these things. All right. So I'm going to declare, we've got movers, I'm going to declare a list of them. So list um, of the mover class. Okay, and that's going to be called movers. Again, that was suggested to me by Visual Studio, which is nice. Equals new list mover. Right. That's good. Right, so all I've got to do now is this line here is fine, but essentially what I need to do is put that in, in a loop. So if I want that, let's say we'll add five because my machine can't handle this. Um, let's add five movers. And then this line of code here, move it up. It's good one. Control K D. Right. Okay. So what are we going to do then? So we've got our list then. So all we've got to do now is add that to our list. So our list is called movers. Dot add. Sorry, movers. And then I'm adding a mover. Now remember, each mover has a random position, so that's good. Right. Now the next thing we need to do is think about this. These two lines are no longer valid because we're going to be doing our list instead. Right. So your next thing is how are we going to display? all of the movers from the list. Okay, so I'm gonna start you off. So it's for each, you didn't have to, you could use a normal for loop item in movers. Okay, and it just makes it slightly easier to code. Right, so your next thing then is, is two lines of code so it will update everything and display everything. Right, have a pause, have a think about it, and then come back. Right, okay. So how do we do it then? So the thing is item, now I could have called that something else, but I didn't, dot update. So that's gonna update one of the five, depending on where which, which time round we're around the loop. And then lastly, it's gonna do item dot display. Now again, we've got to send off the graphics, e.graphics. And then off we go there. Okay. Right. So in summary, what we've done then is we've got, a we're adding five movers to our list. And then when we do the paint, 
what we're going to be doing then is we, we just basically update each individual one and display each individual one. Now they should all be starting in a random position. So let's have a look to see how this works. This could well kill my machine and bouncy bounce. Right. They look a bit odd, but there you go. All right. So there we go. That's how we can have multiple. And obviously all we've got to do there is change this here if we want 10. So hopefully this one looks a bit better than the last one. This will definitely kill my machine. Right, there we go. All right. Okay, there it is then.